What is up, guys? And of course, welcome to another Wi-Fi battle with your troll course, the Scarinder. And as you guys can see, I'm using my old intro today, and I just I really want to use that again. It's been quite some time, and I'll figure out which intro I stay with. Of course, we need to the render one, or actually, to keep doing this, really. Uh, but anyway, going against an old friend and opponent, really, Richard, being with me since three years ago, with, of course, a good old Pimp Night days. Um, just a good friend general, extremely good battler, and always using a bit of um, anti-meta team, always trying to use something else, and as you guys can see, he's gonna use here Kling Clang, Executor, Weezing, McMortar, Pelipper, and Rhydon. So, quite formidable, to be completely honest. I myself is using Waylord, of course, Claydol, Yersering, Simisir, Physical Variant, Gerdor, and Articuno, uh, I really want to try Articuno again, basically, because Articuno is, I do believe, a very, very forgotten Pokemon when it comes to the meta due to the self rock weakness, but if you have a spinner, or at least something to kind of keep those rocks away, then it's actually quite formidable, and I'll even go so far and say it's actually really dangerous in NU and even in RU. So I wanted to give a gash a, a, a testing, really, and of course we have the jolly um, Toxic Boosted uh, Quick Feed Yours Ring, because that's terrible. And also to us, Waylord, love that. And the rest is pretty much standard. Claydol with Psychic, Mono Attacking, and Simisir is a physical variant that stated. Should say that it's not a good set. I just want to try his physical. So, with all this said, let's go into the game. So, alright, from the get go, I'm actually gonna lead off with Waylord or Hank, the tank, the Soul says Waylord, as he's gonna lead off with Rhydon. Now, the thing is here, since his team matchup was so. Great versus Waylord, decided to leave with that because of Assault Vest, it's actually quite fun to use. As it goes to Horizon being of course the Pelipper. Now there, there are only so many things I can do to this guy, to be completely honest. Avalanche doesn't necessarily do all that much and I don't want to try to you know wheel myself around this pawn. I can basically go to Articuno, force it out with a freeze drive since Rock is not on the field. I'm feeling fairly safe staying in. As he goes for agility, and, and that's not bad actually, that's actually kinda cool, being of course Hurricane Hydro Pump is what I was thinking as it goes for a Hurricane, and that does fair damage, that does definitely fair damage as Freeze Dry of course will KO the Pelipper, so yeah, that's that basically, and I should say, Pelipper actually won her, won her special attack, so it's it actually does damage when it's in on the field, so he's gonna go to top gear, and this guy is basically walling me, um, there's really nothing I can do, but I can go into maximum, of course, my physical Simisir, hoping that I can force him out, and there's a sweeper set, as it shows me my native flux, which basically works up, of course, cosmic power when you have the ability plus or minus, so that's super, super scary. Luckily, I am able to scare him out because it's things that I'm a special attacking one and not the physical one. As you guys will see, I go for knockoff, and yeah, I'm not even sure it touched him. I think I like I, I like gave him a high five and like get out. So right on basically eat that up as I know Rox is coming on the field, he has to go for Rox because that actually kills my Articuno. So Rox is here, and my Articuno is pretty much by default kinda dead. As I go for Hurricane, I miss that as he roars me out. Luckily it doesn't go for Rock Blaster if you like that or Stone Edge. So I go get Astagor out, which of course being a clay duel. And uh, I'm just going for spin. At this point, there is so, so very few things I can do anyway. So going for a possible spin is my best call. And it doesn't have any speed blockers, which is extremely helpful. So he's going to go to I'm a Dragon, which of course is Executor. Such a perfect name, really. And um, from this point, I have two options. I either go to Articuno directly, or I try to Toxic him, depending on his sets. I decide to Toxic him. Seeing if it has if it's a physical set or a special set. As it goes to sword sets, I'm like, okay, that's clearly physical. Clearly, that has to be physical. So, a wood hammer or bullet seed is gonna come my way. Articuno is naturally bulky, so I know I can switch out to that. He's not gonna go to send headbutt versus a clay duel. So, yeah, that was my biggest and honest chance of pulling this off. And as he goes for seed bomb. Luckily, I should say. I do believe Woodhammer KOs me. Actually, it does. It KOs me. Uh, so I'm gonna bang everything on this Hurricane and die to Life Orb. That's my only chance I get. I do connect the Hurricane, which is, honest to God, pretty darn sweet, as we're gonna knock out the Dragon, which is not a Dragon yet, because if that was the case, I would freeze try that bitch. <laughs> but anyway, Articuno gonna get knocked out, of course, by Life Orb alone, but Articuno proven his point. 
very, very formidable. So I'm gonna go to lead with Phoenix here, of course, being my girder. I felt that it was my best bet here, as Duck Cannons is gonna come in. And all I'm gonna do is actually go for Drain Punch. As you go for a Psychic, it actually does a lot of damage on me. I did not expect it to do that much, as Drain Punch is sadly not enough. I need at least to be 25% to at least force the Mac Punch to KO. It's not gonna do that for at that range. I need to get out. And I'm gonna go to Hack the Tank. And uh, as he goes for Psychic, and we're actually not gonna eat that up as well as I was hoping for. Uh, but the worst part is, is that after his Thunderbolt, he is able to KO me, which is super, super frustrating because I went for self destruct. I really wanted to self destruct in his face. We didn't do that, and I feel like I wanted that so badly. Uh, as I go to Maxim here, of course, he's gonna withdraw the ma is of course the Duck Cannons. I'm gonna go for a superpower. Hoping for damage against this Rhydon, and I say hoping because if I let this gone out, all right, I went for a knockoff. Okay, as you guys see, still doesn't do anything. Then I go for a superpower. It still doesn't do anything. Like that's a 50% hit, maybe, but at the same time, like I am a sitting duck now, and just I, I will die. I will. I, this rock blast just kills like 20 of uh, my poor, poor simiseers. So, yeah, that, that, that's super unfortunate, but then, then again, you know, I tried a physical set, it sucked, we, it, we, it's dealt with, is what I'm trying to say. As, of course, it falls, and all I can do now is go back to Phoenix, and basically I have two options. I either drain punch this guy, try to get some health back, or I go for a bull cap, but I decided, meh, I, I might as well. Like, I, I need to get some damage back here, or health back, um, which, which means it goes to wheezing, and, um, well, it, it's obviously not worth it. Now, I am Guts, I could stay in taking this Will-O-Wisp, but at the same time, I can't really damage uh, Weezing all that much, so I was feeling that I need to get at least around 50% damage on it, and then figure out things from there, as um, he's going over Sludge Bomb here. And all I was thinking here is he's going to switch out, he's not going to go into Risk the Psychic, right? He, or a Psy Shock or whatever, there are super effective damage that can be done here, so with that in mind, I actually decided that I am smarter if I go for rocks, feeling that he has to switch out, so I get some kind of residual damage till next time I face him. As he says in go for Will Wisp. And uh, mm. So here I, I just I was feeling dumb here, was I'm missing the opportunity of hurting this guy so badly. Because even if I'm uninvested in special attack, Psychic still does at least 40%. So, I should take this opportunity, but then again, I kind of feel that he, he is smarter than this. I have to be smarter too, because I'm not gonna deal with Weezing properly. So, I decided here that, alright, this time he's gonna switch out, right? No, he, he keeps on coming. He keeps on coming, goes with Fire Blast, and obviously that does hurt. But uh, now the Quick Feet is in motion, so right, I was feeling like, alright, force it down with Facade, you know, do the damage, do the damage, as we obviously do the damage. Um, so after that damage up, I was thinking, alright, he is not going to switch out, he is not going to risk another facade, because that means Girder pretty much can set up versus him. So having that in mind, I decided to go for close combat, as he stays in! <laughs> and I was like, dude, why are you doing Why are you doing this to me? And of course it's going to knock out the Yursaring, because now it's just it's pitiful health, really. So Kratos, the Yursaring is going to fall, and obviously I played it right into his hands here. Over predicting as all hell, as I'm not gonna go to play duel. I said, fuck it, you know, I don't have any Pokemons left. I need to go for a psychic here, hoping it does stay in, because um, I, I can't do anything with Gutter. As he stays in, and of course, we get that glorious crit, and I'm pretty sure that to some extent matter. But then again, the worst part about that is, of course, that now I can freely go into that Clink Clank with Magnetic Flux. And there are only so many things I can do to that, because I am walled out, of course, here, I can't talk to this guy, obviously. I don't pack her power, I only have Psyche as my physical attacking move, which means the Girder is my only mod come in. I need to hope that he goes for Magnetic Flux, and um, I can actually bulk myself up. That's my only option for this matchup, that's my only freaking option. And um, he's gonna keep going for Magnetic Flux, just getting scarier, and obviously scarier. And all I really can do is just bulk up, trying to, you know, how much bulk up do I need? What can I risk against him? Because he probably only have Toxic. If he has Toxic, then I can um, get myself a lot stronger as it goes through Shift Scare. And I was like, oh no. He is not only 
Magnetic Flux by Shift Gear 2? That, that is dangerous, because that means that I actually have to start attacking him here. Uh, I can't risk anything versus this specific matchup. And he just keeps getting stronger, and obviously stronger. But um, due to my previous free bulk ups here, I'm going to be able to do some kind of damage to him. And I, he's probably feeling the same way. You know, this is a matchup that's just getting worse and worse as it goes for another Magnetic Flux. And um, here's what it all comes down to. How much damage do I do? And um, I sh should say this. Luckily, I do enough. I do so much. And obviously back to full health, basically, with that in mind. And I can just wrap it up with a Mac Punch afterwards. And that's gonna be pretty much GG, because none of his mons can take on the damage I put that my girder is at right now. Uh, because Duck Cannons, of course, now being you know, a much, much worse range can, can reach you with, of course, the likes of Stealth Rocks. This guy is not going to be able to take a hit from me. And, uh, yeah, I, I will say this. This was definitely a nail-biting match when it came to that freaking <laughs> Clink Clang. Because there were only so many things I could do. And I was really sure that my opponent, of course, um, Richie, was going to be able to find a way back. Uh, luckily, he didn't do that. And we barely win this one really so yeah you know what else can I say when it comes to this game the only thing that really stands out for me of course is that he actually didn't feel his clink clank could stay in against the Simister which obviously I do get the early games prediction and whatnot but uh, it, it may or may not actually have mattered to some extent because I don't think I could take it on that mon that well really and definitely if I forced him to keep going, Gary was probably the better set to bring in, but I didn't know at the time what set he was. So once I'm named the Flux, I got I got scared. I got really scared. Uh, but yeah, I didn't lose to it, but at the same time I do know how things could have ended and uh, I should be I should call myself lucky for coming out on top of this game for anything. But yeah, of course Richard, thank you so much for this game. Always a pleasure, honestly. And for everybody who's been watching, thank you for doing just so. There's going to be a lot more regular Wi-Fi battles going up today. Uh, well, not today, but during this week. A lot of good battles from my stream, which I actually want to showcase. And uh, yeah, with all that said, thank you so much for watching as always. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care.